Gurjar Warriors. Sumanth so starting the proceedings. The first connection. Been done perfect. A full toss delivery to start. The over. A boundary to begin. From Chirag. Just to give you a reminder, the batting team. Chirag plays that and finds that gap between those two fielders standing on point and gully. How good that shot was. Let's have a look at the replay. He goes on back foot, plays that pretty well and gets Jigger on strike at the moment. Gets the, gets the correct edge for the correct direction. And gets a boundary. A healthy edge goes above the head of the third man who was standing inside. Over pitch delivery being pitched up. And finds the gap. So Chirak gets a boundary for the team. It's a good start. It's a good start. The power play in progress. Slower delivery gets the edge. Another miss. Another miss. There were two chances in this particular over last two deliveries. These chances are something that they do not want to regret. There's an healthy edge that's been connected, racing towards the leg side and gets a boundary. So Jigger gets a boundary to end the over. With that five overs done, 47 on board. A shot that was being played just above the head of the bowler. They're running for another one. But on the other side, a misfield then by the field is standing at long off and gives away a boundary fifty seven on board Chirag on strike he strikes well and going towards those two fielders which had a big gap between them so the work of six so was done Six overs done, 61 on board without a wicket. And this time, he hits on the stumps. And a wicket, and a wicket that they were waiting since a long time. And that's a wicket being brought in by Abhijit itself. So Jigger departs. Now Tupper starting his first over with a short pit delivery. But the fielder being kept there. And look at the work that's been done by that fielder. If your captain have kept a fielder in that particular area, you should be taking those. But the power that Chirag had applied was too much. He scored seven boundaries in this inning. And a shot that's been played. Way, way far from that particular field. He's standing at the point and he gets a boundary. He goes on back foot and he knew where that fielder was standing and with that he moves to 48. A shot that he wanted to play and he's got a wicket. Yes, Doshi departs. How big that wicket is. And Tapas have got the breakthrough. Second wicket down. Boundaries on maximum, we know it pretty well. He goes deep in the crease. And he gets his boundary.
and there's no field that being set up in the fine leg or square leg if you're bowling such this man comes ahead is he able to get that gap yes he does so two back-to-back -back boundaries Rajesh have bowled a very good over to start now this is the second over it's been an experience have started rotating and he wants to rotate it well look at that connect look at that connect how beautiful that shot was three boundaries back to back Jugan goes deep in the crease and how beautiful that's been hit straight in the side screen first he goes in deep rotates the strike comes out and hits a six hard hitting that was a catch that was a catch ideally should have taken that should have been a wicket for tapas but that is standing strong there last delivery of tapas over how cracking that connect was with that boundary the scorecard moves to 132 runs and he moves to his 70s 15 overs done 132 on board for the loss and suman to have striked and he's got a wicket of chirag right time to get the wicket a big wicket comes to an end an inning of 74 an uh, inning of 74 comes to an end after facing and he strikes looks like out of the park yes it is this is what i just said before this delivery that he must be eyeing for a maximum or a boundary 151 runs on board for the loss of three wickets last delivery of the 17th over and how can you bowl full toss deliveries to this power hitter it goes all the way for a maximum so 17 overs done 157 on board from gulchan back on strike goes deep and plays that beautifully in the gap moves to 46 in 20 deliveries with that boundary gulchan moves to 46 a short pitch delivery and how can you afford to bowl to this man and with that a 21 delivery 50 up How are you planning to stop this man who's striking so well, going deep in the crease, comes out a couple of steps? That's the style of this hard hitter. He doesn't believe in rotate tapas. Short pitch delivery and a boundary now. 19 runs till now. Five deliveries been completed of this over what a wicket this is turning out to be a catch being taken a catch being taken in the first delivery itself and who departs the big man who scored most of the four deliveries of the 19th over just been scored for two runs this is going in the air two wickets in one over what a turnaround this has been Sagar departs
And a shot that's been played in the air. There's no fielder there. And should be able to get a boundary. So boundary to end the over. 183 on board after 19 overs done. Last two deliveries left. A shot that is going aerial. And it's a maximum. 193 with that maximum. How good that connect was. And a connect that's been done again towards the leg side. But a good work being done by the fielder. It should be a wicket. And he's able to get that. So 194 runs on board being put up for the loss of six wickets. A total of 194 there. Amog and Jayesh being sent out as the openers. First delivery there. How good that delivery was with the entire pace. So first over completed, a cracking over being completed, a good score. A good score that's been brought in on the first delivery itself as a boundary. Jayesh scoring the first from the mountains and is Sajjad Narekar. Started his over with a shorter delivery and how good the comeback is. A boundary on the first delivery. And a wicket on the other. When you have scored a boundary on the first delivery of an over, why there's a need? Three deliveries in this over and a wicket and a boundary that we have seen. What a good shot selection that is. Just now there was a field change being done. A third man was being brought in the circle. And the batsman Amog was aware of that. And he scores off the mark with the boundary. A juggle and strike. A good delivery that is mixed up between these two guys. And they have lost the wicket. They have lost a big wicket. Juggle the parts. Juggle the parts. So two wickets down on 14. Wicket number three falling, falling and falling. Every single over you are seeing wickets. That is not what they need at this particular moment. Discussion with each other. Start a fresh inning. Start scoring runs for the team. And look at that connect. How beautiful that shot is. That's a good connect that goes all the way for a boundary. So Deepak starts his inning with that particular boundary being scored towards the leg side between those two fields. A connection that's been done in the right area. And he gets the first maximum in this over. That's a beautiful connect being done by Deepak to get his first maximum. With that seven overs. A cracking shot coming in from this man towards the area of covers. Two fielders being kept and two inside the circle. But that doesn't make any difference to get a boundary on the last delivery. What has happened there? What has happened there? A monk card be is done. A monk card being done.
there's an appeal there's an appeal from the bowler and it's a leg by it is going all the way for a boundary delivery been bold and no best delivery what a cracking shot that is and janu scores janu scores a boundary 15 runs out of those last 5 now rajesh strikes that shot straight towards the long on fielder gulchan standing there in deep and there's a chance of a run out and they have lost a wicket they have lost a wicket of rajesh who was there since long time and a wicket falls and a wicket again two back to back wickets that's been sent back by vipul solanki a full toss delivery and you can't afford to do that it's a maximum A shot that's been connected well should be a boundary. Yes, it is. Good shot, good shot. Abhijit have brought in some good shots in his batting. He has done this yesterday as well. He should be full toss delivery. You cannot afford to bowl to this man. So a maximum to end the over from Abhijit. and he moves to 23 runs after facing 16 deliveries oh. a cover drive that's been played by abhijit and a boundary been scored towards the covers this man is playing pretty well and a wicket falls and at the end abhishek would be happy that he is able to get one wicket in his spell wicket number 8 departs last two deliveries left a moment taking a winning moment in two matches yesterday and today as well so that's the the work been done very well by the bombay vikings in the bowling and the batting department and the fielding as well so they lose this match by keeping 68 runs in account so congratulations to the team bombay vikings and hard luck to gujjar warriors so that's all we had today we will see you on the next weekend